So let's talk a little bit about <coughs> growing bamboo in pots. Uh, if you're in zone six or seven or eight uh, and you want to keep your tropical uh, landscape looking uh, good and green all winter, bamboo is a really good uh, choice to put in your uh, landscape. And uh, you may not always have a choice of putting it in the ground or you may not want to or uh, in our case we we like to put it in pots a lot of times just to be able to move it around to different spots uh, uh, we have some views that neighbors that we don't like to see and so we if we have a hole in the in the landscape and the trees we like to be able to move the pot and so Bamboo does really good in pots, a lot better than we thought. Uh, it's always stayed good and green for us. Uh, what I was going to show you is we, one of my favorite pots to start it out in is these little uh, 20 gallon pots that you get at Lowe's. They're made of this uh, uh, high density plastic and they uh, very good to, they cost about $25. And, very good to start out your bamboo in. Uh, it'll last in here uh, probably two or three years or more. And you can see uh, the bamboo varieties we use here are either uh, Bassetti, which is a running bamboo, or also uh, Spectabilis, which is also a, a running bamboo. They do the best. And you can see the bamboo wrapping around the bottom of the pot there. And so the way we do these is put these pots on top of the ground where we can move them. You don't want to bury them. And uh, we come in here and we'll drill a little hole in the side about one inch up from the bottom. Uh, I don't see a hole here, but just drill a hole in the side here for drainage, a couple of them. And uh, also you'll see here that we a drip irrigation in here that we run during the summer you'll have to water these things uh, pretty much every day so you'll you'll want it on a drip system unless you want to be out uh, hand watering it on a daily basis and uh, these pots like I said the bassetti in these pots can get up to probably 14 or 15 foot, foot tall this one's probably uh, 12 You can also do something like this. We've taken the pots and we put three of them together. And we disguised them back here with this little eucalyptus fence. And also in the summer when things get tropical, we have a lot of plants that grow here in the front and they'll cover that up and they'll be completely green. And that's pretty much what we do with this one here as well is it it has a lot of plants that grow around it, so when that happens, you won't, won't even see the pot. Uh, once it gets bigger, you can, or if you want to have a bigger uh, a pot, one of the best things to have is these, these large troughs. Uh, here we've got the Spectabilis in one of these large troughs. You can see how pretty it is. You can see it's this is early spring, so this is about as bad as the bamboo looks as far as the leaves and everything on it. They've been beat up by winter. You can see they're still pretty good. They'll, soon they'll come out with some more uh, new uh, leaves and everything. And, uh, we should have some more new shoots coming up here uh, uh, just almost any time now. Here's almost the end of March. But uh, these long troughs like this are ideal to put bamboo in. As far as a pot, you generally want a pot that's uh, around a one foot to uh, no more than about two foot tall. So um, for this, this size bamboo, uh, you want uh, uh, 18 inches or, or less is ideal because the bamboo will stay in the top foot or less of the, of the pot and run around with these 
rhizomes like like this. <clears throat> this pot we uh, we ended up uh, kind of decorating it. I'll show you the, the other side here a little bit. We kind of got it hidden. I put this African reed around one side. So we don't usually come over to this side so you don't see it much, but it it helps disguise this one a little bit. But you can see in a pot, the bamboo does really well. I think this, this pot has probably 14 foot bamboo in it, the spectabulous. And some of the canes are getting a, a little size on them. This is kind of a, a smaller uh, to medium size bamboo. It's one of the most uh, showy types of bamboo that you can grow uh, grow well in zone seven. Uh, you see it's got these green stripes on it here. And uh, uh, you know, we seem to like it. It's, it seems to spread out real good. This is just two years in a pot in this particular one. Uh, we started out this one from from groups that had like, uh, I think this pot had three groups of three canes each. And so when we first put it in here, it had had a group like, like this, maybe another one over here like this, and the third one over here. And so three canes have, turned into uh, you know 60 or however many is in here <laughs> in in the second year and then the third year uh, who knows how many will grow this year but it'll be pretty thick but anyway there's some ideas for you growing your bamboo in pots and uh, some uh, types of bamboo you can use in zone six or seven or eight